how to install GoPro's video editing software called GoPro Studio on your PC or Mac computer. Hey, this is Meredith from vidpromom.com and if you've been with me here for a while, then you know that I do a lot of tutorials and tips and tricks for using GoPro Studio to edit your GoPro videos. But something that I've never actually done is a video on how to install GoPro Studio. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're going to talk about the minimum system requirements that your computer will have to have. I'm gonna show you where to download it and how to actually install it and we're gonna do this for a PC and a Mac all in this one video right here but before we get into that I want to tell you and remind you about my free prep sheet over at vidproacademy.com it's 10 essential steps to creating an awesome GoPro video I go into a lot of detail there on everything that you need in order to really create awesome GoPro videos with GoPro studio so you can grab that over at vidproacademy.com and it's totally Totally free. Okay, so let's dive into installing GoPro Studio. Okay, so let's start off with a PC. First thing you're gonna do is open up Google Chrome. Hopefully you're using Google Chrome and not um, Internet Explorer um, to browse the internet. You're gonna open that up and go to gopro.com. You're gonna look under products and you'll get this little drop down thingy and you're gonna hit software and app, which is gonna load this page. Ignore the app thing now, we don't need to use that right now. We just wanna hit GoPro Studio. So we hit that little square and this is the GoPro Studio page. So this is where you're gonna download it. But first, let's click on system requirements. This little menu here is really hard to see. You may not even be able to see it in my video, but um, you wanna hit right next, there's features, and then right next to that is system requirements. We wanna check out the system requirements for Windows specifically. Now, it does say that supported operating systems are Windows 7 and 8 and 10, and I'm using Windows 8 right now. You should also have an Intel Core 2 duo processor and the there's graphic card requirements and you need to have a specific screen resolution of 1280 by 800 so and then you need to have at least four gigabytes of ram and you have to have some hard drive requirements and then you do need to have quicktime version 7.6 or greater now if you think your computer meets all of those requirements then you can just come over here and hit download now and then it's automatically going to select Windows for you. You just need to put in your email and hit download now. So while that downloads, let's go back up here to the system requirements and figure out exactly how to tell if our PC meets those requirements. So I'm gonna open up this system folder which can be found um, under the control panel and system and security and then system. This is where it tells me that we're running Windows 8.1 and we have a processor that is the Intel Core i7 2.4 gigahertz um, processor here. So let's go back. So this they said this was a 2.4 gigahertz. Let's go back here and see what this said for a processor. Intel Core 2 Duo, recommended Intel Core i7 or better, and this did say i7. We also have eight gigabytes of RAM, and over here on the website, it said that we needed to have at least four gigabytes of RAM, so we are all set with that. So I think we should be good to go. I'm not positive on the graphics card, but um, we, I guess we will install it and we'll see what happens. So I'm just gonna open up the GoPro Studio um, that I downloaded. And this will open up the GoPro Studio setup, which is the installer. So we're just gonna hit next here and it goes through the end user license agreement. Of course, you wanna read that and then accept those terms and hit next. And then it wants to know where we should install it. So it looks like we can just use the default location here and click install. And then you just wanna hit yes if it asks you for any other questions. So at this point, GoPro Studio is installing on the PC. So GoPro Studio is done installing now. It tells me that it's finished and I can close this wizard. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna close that. 
And then it tells me about the Apple QuickTime that's required to use GoPro Studio. So it says, would you like to download QuickTime now? I'm gonna choose yes. So I've got my email address in there and I'm just gonna hit download now. So that's done downloading and I'm gonna hit this installer file here. And it's gonna open up the installer for QuickTime. I'm just gonna hit next here. We're gonna read the license agreement and we're gonna hit that yes, we do agree. And we're gonna do a typical installation and hit next. Then we need to choose a destination. I'm not gonna change anything there. I'm just gonna hit install. And we're now installing QuickTime 7 onto this PC. And QuickTime 7 installer is complete. So we're gonna hit finish. So now we're just gonna open up GoPro Studio. And there we go. We have downloaded GoPro Studio and installed it on our PC. We also downloaded and installed uh, Apple QuickTime, which is a that's a software that you need to um, for to, for the audio to work in GoPro Studio. So definitely don't skip over that one. That's that's a necessity. So automatically it goes into a tutorial, or you can check out my videos. So we're gonna actually hit skip tutorial. So there we have GoPro Studio. It's ready to go on the PC. And next we will move to the Mac installation. Get rock and rolling here on my Mac. I'm gonna open up Safari. And this is just, uh, I'm going to show you from the homepage of GoPro.com. If you go to GoPro.com, up under products, and then if you go to software and app, then um, this is where you can download the app to your phone. And then uh, you can also download GoPro Studio here. So as you can see, it's free. So you're just going to want to click that box. And then you can double check that your computer meets the minimum system requirements. So um, I'm on a Mac right now. So you have to have Mac OS X 10.9 or newer. You have to have an Intel dual core processor um, and a graphics card, blah, blah, blah. And then a screen resolution of at least 1280 by 768 and at least four gigabytes of RAM and then 5,400 RPM internal drive. Um, so basically I always keep my computers up to date with the latest operating system. So I know that I'm good there. And personally, I know that I have a fairly new computer. This is only like six months old or something. So plus I already am using GoPro Studio. So I know that it works on my computer. But if you have a computer that is maybe three years old or older, you might want to just double check all of these things and make sure that you have the minimum system requirements to run GoPro Studio. So once you have established that and verified that you're all set there, then you can just come over here to download now and it's gonna scroll all the way down. The newest version right now today is 2.5.7 and you have to give your email address now, it already has here um, for me, it, choose your operating system. It already selected Mac. It already knows I'm on a Mac. I put in my email address. I'm going to uncheck these boxes because I already get news from GoPro, so I don't, I don't need to check those. Okay, so our download has completed, and I'm going to open up my downloads folder. Um, usually on a Macintosh, that's where your downloads are going to automatically go, right to your downloads folder. Um, so what I'm going to do is double-click this. It's going to open this up and it gives me this um, window here. Um, you don't need to do anything with these two things right here. It's this little box that you need to double click. It's called gopro-studio.pkg. You're going to open that up by double clicking. All you have to do is click continue. It's going to give you some of your minimum system requirements and all that kind of stuff. Just keep, keep clicking continue and then agree to the software license agreement. And then I'm just gonna use my default um, installation location and hit install. And that was that, installation was successful. So I'm gonna close this. I'm also gonna close this folder. And then on my desktop, let me drag this over so you can see it. On my desktop is this little disk icon. It looks a lot like a an external hard drive, like this is my Seagate wireless external hard drive. It looks a lot like that. You can actually delete that. That's just how uh, GoPro Studio installs itself, how any kind of software will install itself. 
Now I can open up GoPro Studio and I am good to go. I'm gonna click no thanks. I'm just gonna double check that it opens, which it did. You probably can't tell because you can't see my menu, but I'm gonna go file, new project. And there we go, GoPro Studio is rocking and rolling here on my Mac. So that's it, I hope this little tutorial was helpful for you in installing GoPro Studio. Don't forget to head on over to vidproacademy.com so that you can download my prep sheet. It's completely free and it's 10 essential steps to creating an awesome GoPro video with GoPro Studio. Again, that is at vidproacademy.com. That's all, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel too. Thanks, bye. Ten, I shouldn't. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's up here.